perspective and experience um, that will, you know, color the broadcast in a way that, you know, only someone that's really been in the car can do it. And obviously, TK and, and um, Townsend and PT have been in the car too. But you know, um, any any kind of information that gives the viewer a better perspective of what's going on out there. Um, and behind the scenes, I mean, that's that's another part of it too. Is I think a good good story. That's amazing. What are the drivers thinking about as they as they start the engine? What's it do? Uh, you know, I feel like the worst part is the um, the worst part is the the holding room um, where everybody's piled in, and you know, it's there's significant others, there's celebrities. It's it's um, it's kind of a zoo in there, and then you line up and go. You know, walk out row by row, and then you do your photo on the on the on the bricks, and then you go to your car. All that starts to move pretty quick. It's the room that's the worst because you're just killing time. Um, and then, you know, when you're getting in the car, you actually have something to do, so you start getting distracted from the nerves, and you start just focusing. And talk about the approach of turning one. Uh, well, I mean. I've never felt like turn one's necessarily the biggest problem. It can be a good indicator of the balance of the car. Um, but, you know, there's also, the turn two's tricky. Um, you know, turn three's probably, turn three and four are the easier end for sure. Um, but, you know, with turn one, you, uh, you know, you, you just, it's, it's gonna show the handling a little bit more, so. Um, but if it's good, that means you can get by people. Get a run from one through two and get them down the back street. Talk about how different Indy is from the other races. How it's thousands, hundreds of thousands of people mm -hmm. come to the race every year. Well, I mean, as far as that goes, was when you're talking about people and the the, the volume of people. Um, obviously, it's the it's the biggest single day sporting event in the world, from from what I understand. I don't know if that's changed or not, but um, so you know. I mean, you see a lot more people, the, the, the time that you're here is longer, there's a lot more interviews, media, fans, and whatnot, but it doesn't necessarily change exactly what you do, right? You still do it, you do an autograph session, but you do three instead of one, or you know, you, you walk out and to go to your car, but instead of just walking out to the car, you know, you, and doing one little introduction on a stage, you have a holding room, then you have the stage, then you have the photo, then you have, you know, there's a, there's just more layers to it, so, um, but you're still going to drive a race car around a racetrack, and, and the fans don't really, I remember in 2005 when I took the lead and at the end of the race from, from Dan Weldon and, and every, many people asked me, they said, did you hear the fans? And I said, well, no, of course I didn't. It was like 33 of us with, you know, going 230 miles an hour, you know, it was so, like, I of course can't hear the fans. So the point is, is that even when it's a question of, of you know, pure volume and thinking that I can hear it no I can't so you're still just driving around a racetrack and um, but it's uh, it's one of those races though that afterwards when it goes well um, you know people notice and if you win like being immortalized Danica you're a woman driver obviously there's only one woman in the in the course this year and Pippa man what are your thoughts about just women in racing in general what are some of the things that you can speak to your experience about being a woman in recent. We know that you've uh, had your run-ins in pit row with uh, some of the best. Um, that was a lot of thoughts into one question. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to talk about Pippa being in the race and about women. And, uh, you know, that was um, obviously such a big moment for, for her and, and the team to, to get in and, and not have to go on Sunday on bump day. Um, she uh, she obviously is very passionate about the race, and and, and, and it's an, it's a you know a huge goal. Um, so you know you saw that written all over her face. But beyond that, I can remember back when there was five of us in the race. So you know it's not like just because I was here or Lynn was here or Sarah or Janet, it doesn't mean that all of a sudden there's going to be a whole bunch more. There was five many years ago, and now there's one. And there's going to be probably years where there isn't any. So, like last year. So, um, well, no, I was out there last year. <laughs> um, but, uh, you do want to forget it, right? I was thinking that Pippa didn't make the race, so I was thinking about that. But, um, but you know, there are going to be years there probably isn't a woman out there, and that's fine. It just just goes to show that, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a large boat. And it doesn't also mean that there'll ever be even females to males out there. 
um, you know, this is definitely, you know, I mean, it's testosterone filled. It's a different, it's a different uh, arena um, that takes a unique person, girl or guy, but um, but definitely for the girls because I think that you know we're wired just a little different. But you know, some of us are wired for this, so. Um, so I, I mean, you know, there'll be a point in time where there'll be more on a regular basis, but I think it'll take a really long time. Thank you. Thanks, Sunday.